How are you doing trappers? Ed Snyder, Kansas Trap Line Products. Hey, today's video is beaver skinning and I'm up in Maine. I catch a quality beaver, a nice two-year-old, and uh, I'm going to show you how I uh, trap the beaver, cut off the beaver tail, uh, use it for some uh, lure ingredients, uh, caster, oil sack, uh, all you need to know about beaver skinning. Uh, join me and as always please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It helps my uh, channel greatly I appreciate it and uh, stay with me for the variety that uh, This channel has to offer in the field of trapping uh, and until we meet again tight chains trappers Doing trappers Ed Snyder Kansas trap line products coming to you from Maine and uh, Believe it or not. Uh, I know you're used to seeing me with the uh, coyotes and that type of thing and uh to be honest with you, I feel a lot more comfortable skinning coyotes in front of a camera than I do this uh, beaver. But yesterday I caught a couple of nice beaver, a nice couple of two-year-olds, I believe. And um, they just set up shop there, set up homemaking. And uh, anyway, we're going to skin this beaver whether I like it or not, no matter how it comes out. I want, if, if anything about this at all, I can say this. If you're uncomfortable doing something, don't feel alone. We're all, uh, guys like myself are always into this. That being said, it's the same general principle. The difference is, is that a uh, beaver is uh, sold open cased. And in this time of year, uh, or this economic situation, we're actually... Uh, selling the beaver by the pound it's not really about the fur it's uh fur value and leather uh goods type of thing in the garment industry it's actually for the hatter market so we don't have to be quite as perfect which is perfect for guys like myself uh i know many of you could do this a lot faster and a lot better but i want to show you just at least the basic principles regardless of the times i screw up this beaver but i've had a few here to practice i think i'm a little over 30 beavers so far uh and, and with the help of john carville and i'm at john carville's place here in maine and uh, he's been a big help to me so i've learned an awful lot about beaver trapping matter of fact i think i found a pond with some fresh cuttings and uh hope to show you some of that tomorrow uh, or in the next couple of days anyway and uh, next time I run up there. So let's go ahead and we're going to start. I got a nice two-year-old beaver. I actually got another one in my pickup over here. But what we want to do with anything is we're going to brush them out and uh, get that done. All right, we got them brushed out. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the lopper. I'm going to grab the loppers. Loppers just make it a lot uh, faster, and uh, we're going to go ahead and cut those uh, paws off right there at the, there we go, Get it hind legs are a little bit thicker, but this will help you, Whoop. help you an awful lot. There we go. So that's done. Grab the knife. And let's go back here. Now this is a part that might help you on, uh, that might help you on your, um, on yours, on your flat, on your skinning, is when you uh, first take off the paw, take your knife, kind of run it on the inside of the skin. And uh, that's something that's kind of helped me a little bit in my rookiness of beaver is run that knife underneath the skin to help you get it past that leg. We don't need any of these. We'll set them just right there. And again, I'm just going to, especially on the belly side, I'm kind of opening that area up. There we go. Now... Something I'm going to try this year, uh, I, I, again in Kansas I don't have access to a lot of beaver, but I hear that putting a beaver foot in a dirt hole uh, has been work for some guys. Uh, that's where the oil is, is uh, on that toenail uh, that John uh, was so kind to show me, but this toenail here is uh, designed a little different. Let me see if I can get here. 
in front of the camera but this is the uh the nail there it actually has a little pocket in it it's a little tiny pocket and uh, that's what actually they they grew in themselves putting the oil on them so let's go ahead and uh get my last one done here as far as opening that up yeah it was my first check on these and i and i got them we're gonna cut uh, the tail we can go ahead and do the tail right now i'm gonna go ahead and save the t if you're not saving tails, no, we're, don't worry about what I'm going to do. But for me, I want to make some uh, beaver tail oil. So that being said, uh, just simply cut into the tail. Let's flop them over. Repeat the process on the other side. The hard part about this is it kind of it does dull the knife. There, I broke it or snapped it. Let's finish it off. There we go. So I'll save this tail as well. We have that done. Now, starting up here at the uh, lower lip, I'm going to put a little, seeing how I was cutting into a little bit of bone there. Take the steel and just keep an, always keep an edge on your knife. It'll save you time in the long run. I'll just let that stay. Starting here on the lower lip, working my way to you. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we do not puncture the belly the best of our ability. I have punctured a few and I might puncture this one. But we're just gonna go up the belly. And, and I tell you, you can use a carpet knife here. That works very well. The hook blade carpet knife because we're going to open case this this here's where it gets a little tender right in here so i'm going a little slow intentionally now when we get down to the vent we got our casters coming up here and oil sacks so we're going to want to save them uh, as I understand from John that the the fall beaver now I'm gonna go around the vent I'm gonna cut on each side of the vent you can cut through it if you want I, I like to cut around it just like I would a, a coyote anus and uh, just cut around it and then I'm gonna finish out my cut here and go down to the tail there we go so I have it fairly well separated let's start up here along the chest kind of break this open being careful again we don't cut into that belly they open up pretty good give yourself a little handle here on the other side yep. need to open up a little bit more i went went pretty shallow there Let's go ahead and see if we can't open this guy up a little more. If you're putting a stopwatch to me, uh, you might as well turn it off because it's going to be a while. I like also coming up here around the chin, cutting out uh, that face. I think it makes it easier when I flip it over. Let's go ahead and get that leg out. And you see I got it pretty well exposed. Take my knife. And just help it along. I got it now. Being gentle. There's my hind foot. There we go.
I've seen guys and they get whacking pretty good here. I just don't have the confidence yet to whack. All right, there's the back foot leg. Let's get this front leg. I think I need to work that down a little bit more. And just push that through. Get it to where that leg's showing itself. The knife I'm using is a Weeby soft handle. There's other, you know, I see guys use a quite a collection of knives for beaver skinning. Or they're using a pelter. There's the front leg. There, I got it. Again, just cutting that leg off of the off of the bone got it let's spin it around here batting a thousand right now so let's keep on going let's see if i can do a little pulling anything that you can do without a knife the better i found also you can just take your fist and push into it a lot of that belly will come loose we get around to fleshing this guy we're going to want to uh that'll be our soft meat the side that we push the fat on let's get her clean up around this face again thinking about the flip over <laughs> i think i actually drew a smile out of john when I said eventually I'm going to do a, a video of me skinning a beaver, but I said I'm going to have to be a lot better than I am. He got a, I actually drew a smile out of John on that one. He was too polite to honest, his honest opinion. <laughs> there we go. We're getting it closer. Having to do a little more knifing on the, this side. So now I'm going to pop that out. You see how it's already come out? That's because I, that's because I already kind of cleaned it up a little bit. If you're in doubt on this, on where to, on where to uh, run your knife, run it into the meat before you run it toward the hide. Right? That's that's one lesson I can certainly say. Uh, it's easier you it's easier to flesh it off than it is to patch a hole or to you know that type of thing so we get here to the front leg I know for you beaver guys out there right now you're already telling you're already thinking to yourself where I'm costing myself some time but that's all right for a coyote trapper this ain't too bad I about got it and you're actually just pulling it on the back side out is what you're doing There I got it. I think for myself, this was the one of the harder spots uh, to deal with. I got this side of the beaver done. Um, we could wait till the end to do this, but let's go ahead and do it now. Let me cut out around this tail. And uh, as uh, um, what I like to do to get the, well, we'll get this. We'll get this tail opened up and continue cutting away the the anal gland. There we go. So I got my casters and oil sack right here. I myself like to pinch up high to expose it. You're under the ice beaver and your uh, beaver that are uh, springtime beaver, the casters are more prevalent. The, uh, then the fall, from everything I'm understanding, 
so this happens to be a male so let's get the penis out of the way now this is where we don't want a knife and if you're saving the caster for yourself you probably don't have to be this particular about it but I want to show you to the best of my ability because I, I ripped some casters but you just got to be gentle and start working that membrane off of the caster you got two sides to a caster just kind of find the end and just start peeling that back there we go being gentle because it doesn't take much to rip that and I'm probably getting close to doing it but boy when you feel it ready to come to come off you're ready to you're ready to just pull and probably pulling isn't what you need to do that membrane is attached There's one side, there's the other. I think I got it. So there I have my set of, my pair of casters right there. That's the money, you know, folks. Uh, I know that they can be worth, you know, right now I think from $45 and a year or so ago they were a hundred, two years ago they were at a hundred dollars. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna want to dry this down. I'm gonna hang it on a on a wire, uh, and then each day I'm gonna take that. I'm going to take it off the wire and I'm going to flip it over so it's drying on, uh, on the other side. So there's that. The second bit of uh, we can be gentle with this or we can just whack away at it and get it. Uh, oil sacks. Uh, they, they got two oil sacks here. I'm going to be a little bit less particular on them, but you, you can certainly be particular. For myself, they're going to go into my into my lures, the oil sack oil. And there's my oil sack glands. So now I've, I've capitalized on three resources that we got. We got the beaver tail, we got the caster, we have the oil sack. So we have all three type of potential sales in our in our stuff let me set these down over here all right so i don't have to worry about forgetting the casters i have that done so let's start flipping this guy over and, and i'll actually go ahead here with my knife and i'm going to knife easily and try to expose that leg you know half of it just understanding the anatomy of any animal that we that we uh uh, uh, skin you know just like being a butcher you got to know where the chuck steak is the porterhouse all of that has a special spot and with beaver they are built a little bit different their uh, back legs isn't that far there isn't there it just goes from muscle right into it so got to be a little gentle adding some pressure here will help you then we're going to come over here to the tail. Now the tail, and John made a point to me when I was, I was kind of struggling with it. He says, you don't skin the tail, you cut the tail. You, you're cutting underneath. I can tell you that you always want to be cutting back from your skin uh, because you'll, you'll be on your skin before you know it. So I'm actually kind of cutting down into the tailbone as I go. And if flesh is easy. Or flesh is relatively easy. Once you kind of got it going your way, it's not too bad. I like it when I get about halfway up the back. Then, there, then it's really rolling.
Now you'll see that I'm taking a little back strap from the tail, but that's all right by me. Take this around. Get some of that leg exposed. There we go. Finally breaking it free. In, in time, I know I'll eventually get this a lot cleaner than I am, but this is where I'm at. Here we go. Bring it back. Again, I'm cutting down. Finally getting it over it. This is like the beginner's guide. You're just going to have, like with coyotes, I, I remember having trouble with uh, skinning coyotes the first time. And I asked my mentor and friend, Richard Thurman, what the secret was. And he told me that the secret's going to be my 100th coyote. By that time, I'll have it figured out. And that's about right. Taking a lot of meat. <laughs> this is not clean skin, that's for sure. There we go. I'm getting it. It's getting to almost to the point where the weight of the hide is going to start adding to my favor. See how all of a sudden now it's uh, getting a little cleaner on the skinning. Just starting. There we go. I pro this is where I probably butcher the beaver more than I do. And I saw letting it hang over the side. The, I think, like I said, the main thing here um, to take away from it, yeah, I did some butchering on this side. The other side of the coin is, is I didn't do any holes in my hide yet. Some of this starts to it actually wants to start pulling a little bit. To me, when you get around the the beaver, to me it's like skinning a turtle. We're starting to get to them front shoulder blades. So now the weight of the hide is kind of going in my favor. The next reel, you know, you just got to cut around those shoulder blades. Now I can lean this here, lean this the other way.
Don't get greedy. Find the spot that's hanging up on you. Don't, don't try to jump ahead into the skin too soon. If she don't want to go, there's something holding it up someplace. So don't get greedy with it. Patience is our friend. What was it I heard? Uh, the, uh, the goal isn't to get done fastest. The goal is to get done right. Have it done pr properly. So I'm getting close to the head. Don't... Um, don't miss read where the head begins. Because it'd be easy right now to start thinking I'm up at the ears and I'm not. There we go. Okay, same thing over here. I'm get, I am getting close. There's a ridge on top of the head that is, a, to me, the best indicator that you're where you, where the ears begin. So we're, that's our spot up there. Get everything kind of cut, and before you know it, you'll have the ears, uh, the ear sockets showing. And there's one right there. Finally got it open. It's bony. There you got it. One is down. Two is down. So you got two ears showing. It ought to speed up a little bit here. The eyes ought to be showing themselves pretty quick. I'm going to cut around this cheek just a tad. There's an eyeball. Second eyeball coming. There we go. Both eyes are popped. You'd think I'd be home free now, wouldn't you? I'm not really worried about the jaws or the lips, but uh, I want to do a clean skin as well, not clean, but I want to make it nice and neat as I can. That's it. That's all. <laughs> That's all there is to skinning a beaver as a, as a novice. And uh, next thing we're going to do is we're, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, flesh this beaver and show you how I do that. Uh, I tell you the uh, 
for martin trappers if you want to go ahead and um, uh, quarter out your quarter out your meat right now and then you uh, get that done this way you can go ahead and have your beaver meat and uh, cut these open and same with the hind legs and if you're using uh, beaver meat it's a fabulous uh, fox and coyote uh, uh, bobcat bait so anyway uh, thanks for watching on this one and uh, I, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate you being patient thanks a lot folks